Hi my friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget. And if you saw by the thumbnail, I wanted just to talk about comfort today. I think comfort is a word that we need at the moment. Um, tolerance, understanding and patience and faith and faith. It is an absolutely crazy world. It's a crazy world. And although I love my videos, my makeup videos, and you know, different ones with clothes I'm, I've got playing coming up for you, and I love that time with you, you know that, guys. I can't not address this because it's all around me and you know, our little country is small. It's only a small little country. If you're you're in America, you're one of my lovely American friends. You know, it's a little small country. And we had 58,000 cases yesterday. Yesterday, 58,000 new cases. In London, one in 10 people have it in London. And outside, I think it's one in 20, one in 50 in more rural areas, more like where I am. Um, and then in the central London, it, it, it's, it's one in, I believe, one in 10. Um, and there's like, deaths are going into a thousand every day. We've got the vaccine coming, and well, it's coming. We've got the vaccine, it's here. And lots of people have had the vaccine. Um, it's, when I say comfort and patience on our part as well, I mean, we're indoors all the time. We have the shield, so we can't see anybody at all so there's just me and Baz and the shopping comes to the door the man walks away um we take the shopping in and then I spray that with you know um Milton and make sure that's all done and then we put that away and that's that's our life um at the moment and it's a lot of people's lives at the moment um, so you're safe indoors, you know, but a lot of people haven't abided by that rule. They haven't gone along with that rule. And a lot of people are going out and more, more or less summing their nose to it, you know. And I've got to really try and control my anger with that because I feel so angry with that, guys. And you know I'm not that sort of person. But I, I really feel angry, you know. They're out partying and, you know, you can see them and there's all these theories that you have, it's not real and it's all caused by the governments and I'm... <laughs> I can't even go. I haven't got the patience to even go there, guys. But, you know, you see that and then you see the amount of cases and how it's growing. Because of the spread, because not everyone is doing as they're told. And it's the people that are trying to do their best, and it's the old people and the people, you know, they're, they're suffering and losing their lives. And that part angers me so much. And that's where, where my faith protects me with that. It doesn't stop me feeling it, guys. It doesn't stop me feeling it. I feel it. But I know... I get my comfort from, from God and I can feel that. I can feel that. And I know that if you, you like me too, you're a Christian too, you, you know that feeling. Um, and I just, you know, I'm so grateful that I do have my faith because in a time like this, it's, it's a, a challenge, isn't it? It's a real challenge. Nobody I love so far has been touched by it and I'm very grateful for that and we're all being very very careful I haven't seen my grandchildren for months but I do talk to them daily on the 
um, really no div messenger video messaging but you know my son-in-law still got to go out the house he has to go and do things for his work all right he's masked up all the time and social distance all the time but i just I, you know, I lay every night and I think, what if you go somewhere tomorrow? What if someone doesn't take no notice? What if someone rips the mask off? It is, it's, you could go crazy. You could go crazy here because it's, I wasn't like it the first time. Remember when I was down with my friends the first time, me and Baz? Um, but this time, I think a lot of it is for the fact that I'm so far away from them. Um, that, you know, what I could do if I was there, I don't know because I couldn't. Be near them anyway but because i'm so far away it's just i don't know it's a, it's a mother hen i suppose you know that kind of feeling but um i just pray that they're okay but it's not a normal way of life and although i am a very up glass half full person and i really am and i love coming around here and doing my videos and honestly youtube is one of the things that's kept me going YouTube has been a huge, huge comfort for me during this time um, because it's something that I have to think about. It's something that I have to concentrate on and, you know, it's it, it's really been a huge, huge boost for me and I'm thankful to each and every one of you that come on and watch me and encourage me. I really do. Um but it, there's not a lot to do otherwise during the day, you know. I've always kept a quite tidy house. I'm quite finicky in my house. I've got a lot, you know, posh stuff. But I, I keep what I've got very nice. And, and I've been doing that, but I do that anyway, you know. Um, and we can't see anybody. I put some rubbish outside yesterday. And uh, my dear friend who lives next door, you know, my Debbie, she's... Um, She's had a lot in her life lately and some of you guys know that she, lo she lost her husband and I know I spoke to you about that. Um, and she was on the doorstep, yes, you heard doorstep, so she came out the same time as I did. And it's like, oh, I'll phone you, all right, I'll go, I'll go in and phone you. And it's, that's crazy. It just seems altogether crazy. And I think it, it seems like the world's crazy. It's vi the virus and the politics. Oh my goodness, what a week. What a week. It's, it's just crazy. So comfort. What, what do I do for comfort? Most certainly my faith. Most certainly. Also, I try to do things that are upbeat now. When you're really worried, when you're concerned about your country and your family and, you know, I can't be, what can I say, I don't put on a brave face. I don't do the kind of, um, you know, put on, as I said, a brave face. But I do things to help that um, lowness, I suppose, uh, that, um, you know, the anxiety, it is anxiety because I've had a lot of anxiety in these last few weeks. And particularly now the numbers, you know, 58,000 in a day. And if you think how little and small England is, it's, that is so scary. So, so scary. But the things I do is... The things that I do is I try to make myself and Baz comfortable as indoors as I can. Now, obviously, it's my home, so I'm comfortable in here. Um, but calming things. So I'll put a picture in for you. I got some string lights that I got from Amazon, and they're very thin string lights. Um, and they're tiny, tiny little bulbs. That It's electric. Um, and so they've got little remotes with them and I crushed them all up and put them in a shape and I put them in a glass vase and they look so lovely you can turn them up turn them down now I'm not saying these things make you better of course they don't but with anxiety anything that's kind of calming and these really help me they really really help me I'll put a little picture up here of them 
that I took when they were on. I'd bring it in, but it's quite a big glass vase. Um, I've got, when I'm watching the TV or we're listening to music or whatever we're doing, I've got pillows and cushions and things that I can, you know, comforting things, comfort blankets. Like, you know, remember when we were children, I had a comfort blanket. I've got a comfort blanket now at my age. So, so anything that kind of cuddles you and makes you feel warm. People, stay in touch with people. Majorities of us have got the internet now. Keep in touch with your family regularly. And, you know, sometimes what I've been doing is going back and talking about things when they were small. So I'd say, do you remember that time you crawled under that caravan? <laughs> Crazy stories. But that's what I've been doing, to, trying to think of things in a time that wasn't like this and lifting this up, you know, and think, yeah, we, well, we did that, then we'll do it again, but I don't know if I'm crawling under the caravan, Mum, you <laughs> But it, it, things like that, try to lift our spirits with things like that. Um, and television shows, obviously, we've all, I mean, Netflix is going to, did you see they're going to put the price up of Netflix? Surprise, surprise, because obviously the demand on it is unbelievable at the minute, isn't it? Um, but I've been watching lots of things on Netflix, but watch, with anxiety, watch what you watch. Watch, watch what you're watching as well because yesterday I watched um, an old film that I'd never seen before but it had a, a miserable ending um, Legends of the Fall Le Legends of the Fall with um, Anthony Hopkins and Brad Pitt um, and it, it, it just had a miserable ending and Although it may be artificial, I need, I need happy endings, something to lift my spirit, something to make me feel happier. Um, it can't take it away. Nothing can take the worry away from the country, the state, the countries in the minute. It can't. There's not a person that's not worried. There's not. A, I don't know anybody that's sleeping. You know, it's just, it's so so bad here. So it, it won't take it away, but it'll just try to do anything you can to calm yourself, just to calm yourself. And look at the, I try to look at the positive side of the news. I don't turn the news off because I want to know what's happening. But there's a, vir there's a, a vaccine and lots of people and thousands of people have had the vaccine now. And do you know by this time, six months We'll have a lot of vaccines and please God in a year, if that long, you know. Um, we've got the third vaccine coming out now. We've got two already and we've got a third one that's come out now. Um, so please God that, that gets around the country quickly. Um, and for all of us, it's not just, you know, I'm just talking my country because obviously I love my little country. But... Uh, you guys, wherever you are, you know, I know it's terrible everywhere. I know it is. Um, it's, it's, it's really a... It's just such an alien way to live, isn't it? It is an alien way to live. But try to watch positive things. You know, I love a programme called Only Fools and Horses. It's... Um, anybody knows it. If you're English, you know Only Fools and Horses. And it's such an upbeat programme, it is, it's, it's a situation comedy, it's a situation drama comedy and it's just amazing. I've watched it for years and years and I must have watched them about, well, 60 times each at least. I mean, I just love the programme and every time you see it, you see something else that's funny, you know those type of programmes? So I've been watching a lot of Fools and Horses, I've been watching a lot of sort of soppy love stories you know um which i don't normally watch two soppier ones but i've been watching soppy ones and 
um, you know, who done it. Been watching my old, you know, my Columbo and my murder hero, you know guys, I'm into that anyway. But they've been put playing that all day. Um <laughs> much to Baz's approval. Um so they've been putting those on all day. Obviously they're trying to put the things on, you know, the people would wanna watch. Um but ordinary telly's a bit rubbishy, honestly. It's um there's not many things. I go it, if it's all going to tell you, I go on to the older channels and watch the old movies like um, Film Network and things like that, old movies, I watch those. Um, and I do a little bit of cooking and um, try to be a little bit creative. Done some things in the home, just, just things like move pictures and try things in different places. Obviously, I can't move furniture myself, but... You know, just little things that changed, little things were changed. We changed our front room round, so that's in another way now. The telly's in a different side of the room. And it sounds crazy, it sounds crazy. But it's like something to think of, something to do, something to arrange. So that you're not just sitting all day, because you can't work in the housework 24-7. Um, and I've loved YouTube. YouTube has been my saviour, honestly. Well, not my son. And YouTube. YouTube has saved my day and Baz's as well. <laughs> but it has because it's my connection with my friends and it's thinking about what I'm going to do, what I'm going to make, how I'm going to do it. So it's a great, great, it's a massive big help for me. Um, but I wanted to speak to you about it today. It's not something I want to be worries me all the time, you know. I don't, because you know I love, I love being an upbeat channel. But just to start this year by saying, you know, how much I feel for, for what's happening here. It's, I know it's happening all over the world, I know that, but I think, I think England is in a particularly nasty spot at the moment. If you think of that figure and think of the size of the country. Yeah, I think it's, it's one, in t one in nine, one in ten outside there. In, uh, one in nine, one in ten, I think. Oh, it's one in, f one in five in London, I think. I can't remember the exact figures. One in five or one in nine in London. And then it goes to like one in 20 further out of London you get. Um, and I think we're about 1 in 30 in this area. But it's still a lot, isn't it? It's still a lot. And it, the thing is, it is spreading like wildfire and deaths are doubling. How many people are dying? It's just, just stay indoors. For those. I just want to say to those people, stay indoors. You know, nobody wants to. I don't want to. My family don't want to. Baz doesn't. We, we don't want to stand doors 24-7. It's enough to drive anybody up the wall. But consider other people's lives. Just consider other people's lives. You know, they had a thing here that they would go on a certain time, 8 o'clock every Thursday. This was the with beginning when March when we first had the lockdown, eight o'clock every Thursday, everybody would go out on the front doorstep. Obviously, on there you can't move from your doorstep, and clap. And they'd be clap. It's called clapping for the National Health Service. God bless our National Health Service. God bless those people. My goodness, I've always, always treasured the National Health Service, but now even more so um, because they're. They're low paid and my goodness are they dedicated, absolutely dedicated. Um, and my heart goes out to them, the work they're doing at the moment. So clap for the National Health Service. They started to do it again. They've started to do it again, eight o'clock. Let's go out and clap for the National Health Service. I don't think it's taken off and I'm not doing it. And I'll tell you why I'm not doing it. Because... Clapping for the National Health Service is good. But you see the same people clapping, going out without a mask and mixing. What are you clapping for? 
you taking your mask off and causing them work. You know, you you're taking that risk and giving them more work and putting more pressure on them because you can't put a mask on. So to me, that's how you appreciate and show your appreciation for the doctors and nurses is by protecting yourself, therefore protecting others. Um, so there's quite a few of us that feel like that now, I think, here in, here in the UK. So I hope you've understood why I wanted to say this today. I hope you can see that I couldn't let the week go. With things that are growing as it is, I just couldn't. It's too, it's too big and in this little country is suffering so much. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to mention it and um, keep you all up to date, particularly my, my American friends. I know that, you know, I don't know what gets over there and what you hear in and, you know. And for you guys as well, I know I know you're going through it. I mean, obviously we get the news here, and um, it's it's just awful what's happening with this, that, and the other in the world. It's just so 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 sad. But do what you can to comfort yourself and. People in your household, if you're in the UK and you're being like a children like we have to, um, comfort yourself and your loved ones. Do things cosy, you know, relaxing. Try and do as much relaxing as you can because tension, a lot of tension um, and anxiety, anxiety causes that tension, doesn't it? So we, we want to try and relax. Now, we're not going to lay down on the soft cushion and a comfort blanket and it all goes away that's not going to happen but try and help that way try and help yourself that way and look after your your loved ones but look after yourself as well um, and do whatever you can do whatever you can to take care of yourself and your loved ones play your part do your bit so i will see you again on friday with an um, a more uplifting video but uh, as I said disrespect for those those people you know that um, my heart just goes out to them so for respect for them I wanted to to make it about that today to make it about that and you know God bless us God bless us all because it's only with his help we'll get through this take care of yourselves be good be careful and I'll see you Friday and I love you all. Thanks guys. Thanks so much.